Hello, good morning everyone. Thank you for coming back to join me today. Um, I'm struggling to do any crafting, so I'm trying to get a couple of videos um, recorded ahead. Uh, we're doing some decorating at home, so I've got to pack my craft stuff away. So, you know, it's going to be a bit hit and miss when I can get it out. So I thought I would just do a quick um, kind of craft with me and show you where I'm at. I haven't shown you this one for a little while. Um, these are papers that I'm using from Chris Lana Crafts. Um, and she has a Kofi shop, not an Etsy shop. So I will put the name of the Kofi shop below um, and you can go take a look at her kits if you're interested. But I'm using a range of them. Um, I started out using mostly the autumn kits, but I've kind of mixed and matched a few different kits um, in here. I have done a little bit of this with you. We did this page. I don't know if you remember. It was a few weeks ago. Um, so that's um, a pocket that I've made. I don't think I've done a tag to go in there as yet. I can't remember what I did. It's a little while since I did it. Oh, there is a card in there. Yes, the card there. So um, they just need backing um, and some fabrics putting on them. So I've done that bit. Um, I've kind of gone front page, back page and worked a little bit on it. So on the back page, I've done another tuck spot there. Um, and I've just made a pocket in there. It's a little bit eclectic because I'm using um, Cher Maman, um, the Autumn Kit, um, just kits, just images that I liked, kind of, if you know what I mean. So anyway, so that's that page. This page, um, that's a little tuck spot there. And isn't she just beautiful, that lady there? So she's in there. Oh, my page has got twisted. Put it back. Um, she's in there. So I've added this. This was a flip. So I've added this to it. So I've glued it sort of on three, uh, two sides there and made it a pocket, but I've stitched it. So that is a pocket. And then on the back of it, I've put um, a pocket from music paper that I've just done a, a journal card for and put in there and I fussy cut these leaves out of one of the papers the autumn papers so I did that um, what else did I do oh, on this side of it there's a belly band tuck spot those ladies I think are collecting apples then there's a flip just there and then that goes over and there's a flip just there Try and put my pages together. Um, nothing on that page. What else have I done? I don't know where the crease is in that page, actually. It's there. There we go. That's where it is. Sometimes the pages slip around when you're working on them. Um, oh, I had... What have I done there? Oh, yes, I did a big pocket there. This is from the dog kit um, with the dog and the lady. And then again, that one I think is from the dog kit. Look, she's got a little dog there that's following her. And that's got extra journaling space on it as well. And that tucks inside there. And then on the back of that, um, I've done another pocket and a little tuck spot just there as well. And that's from the dogs. And I know because there's a dog on it. And then there's that little girl there that I just thought was too cute. So that's kind of where I am. So I'm, I'm on this page and I'm thinking I want to put, I don't want to cover that flower up. So I'm thinking I want to put something up here is what I'm thinking. Um, so, yeah, I thought I would just bring you along and just show you what I'm doing, what I'm playing with. Um, so I want to make a tuck spot, a top corner pocket, I think. They go quite nicely, don't they? Should we do it out of that? So all that I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to make it a top corner pocket. So just folding a... What am I doing? I'm just folding the paper over to make a triangle. Can't find anything. You know, when I started the video, everything... <laughs> Everything was in, oh, here it is, I've covered it myself. Everything was in front of me. And I thought, that's it, you're good to go. Never works out that way, though, does it? Never at all. 
So yeah, we're trying to do some decorating um, before Christmas. I don't know why we're not waiting till after Christmas, but I'm not asking. I'll just go with the flow. Um, but it means that we've got to move into the bedroom that I use as my craft room. So we've got to put the spare bed. Or we've got to put... Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. We've got to move the bed in here, which means that I've got to put my table away and and things like that. So I will, I will still do some crafting, but I'm desperately trying to finish off um, projects that I have definitely overreached myself um, starting different projects, but I'm just so easily sidetracked and I see a kit and I think, oh, I love to play, you know, I want to play with that kit. And so I get it and I print it and then I start it and then I see something else and I go, oh, it's like <laughs> shiny, bright. Yes, I like it. So I've finished my Christmas ones. I have got a couple of other Christmas kits printed out, but I'm not going to get them done before Christmas. So, but I will continue to work on them. So all I can say is I'm going to be very early with Christmas journals for next Christmas. <laughs> Does that count? I'm not sure. Um, I've got these leaves that were fussy cut and oh, that one's got a face on it. Look, I quite like that because the greens go with that. These are from um, the kit as well. So I've just fussy cut them out. And I think I'd like some sort of label to go on there. These labels um, are, I think, from uh, Tracy Love Junk Journals. And I think that's going to say New York. Oh, I like that. How's that for a snappy, quick decision? Well done, Carol. <laughs> I can have a gold star for that one, I think. Just a little bit of ink on there. And I need some glue, don't I? So let's just put this on. So that was a nice, quick pocket, wasn't it? So I'm going to put that lady's face there. And I want to be able to read that it is New York. Come on, slide. Yep, and then that lady can go on there. Do you know what would be easier? Would be to move this pocket a little bit closer to me, wouldn't it? The other problem that I've got here in the U... Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, folks, I've just gone to take... Just gone to take the lid off. The lid's already off. So I've now covered my fingers. Absolutely covered them in glue. <laughs> oh dear, Carol. Carol, Carol. <sighs> Honestly, you have to laugh, don't you? So what I was just going to say was the other problem that I've got here in the UK is We've got very dark, dismal days and I have got a light that I can use. A ring Is it called a ring light? Oh, I think that just looks so pretty. Um, I have got a ring light that I can use. But I feel it throws shadows everywhere and I'm never I'm never very happy when I when I see the videos um, from when I've used the ring lights. So I'm trying to video when it's a bit of a brighter day which at the minute has been few and far between so yeah and of course I'm trying to get ready for Christmas turns out we're having a, a, a house full at Christmas which isn't what I was expecting but hey ho that's okay we've done a dummy run with a table this morning because there's going to be 10 <laughs> plus a baby new baby Oh, gosh, a golly. Well, I like that. What do you think? I like that very much. I don't think I want to decorate the, the page, those pages at the moment. But what I'm thinking is I might want to do a fabric flip. Now, I don't know if you saw the challenge. Um, I took part in the challenge, Rachel and Bella, Rachel and Bella Crafts. Um, and I did a fabric flip. And I'm kind of thinking I might like to put one in here because they're not very bulky. So I'm thinking I might want to put one on this um, tea dyed paper because, um, because I'd like to. 
no other reason than that and I'm looking at the colours of this that I've, I've put a book page in there and I'm looking at these kind of colours and I'm looking at what I've got out um, on my desk and I've got these two fabrics I'm thinking that actually looks quite nice with those. So I'm thinking that I would like to make a fabric flip out of this fabric. Why not indeed? And there's a little bit here that I can cut off. This is, I um, can't remember the name of this sort of fabric now I've started to say it. <sighs> Brain switched off folks. It's honestly, it's the joys of growing old you get a word on the tip of your tongue and if you don't latch on to that word straight away it's gone it's gone and it's never coming back well it does come back two o'clock in the morning it'll be back i'm just going to make that a little bit narrower you see how easily it um rips and what i like about this fabric is that it's patterned on both sides it's kind of darker on that side, isn't it? I prefer the paler side. Not sure, not sure, but I don't want it to be the full length of the page, do I? No. So I'm going to snip it. And I'm going to attach a pocket onto this flip. I've got threads now, look. I think I might use the paler side just because I like it. I think the black showed up too much in the other. Um, I'm just flicking through my little box where I've printed out um, some of the kit pages. And in here somewhere, I don't know if it, I don't know if my camera's staying in focus. So if you're going in and out of focus, I apologize. Look at those cuties, aren't they gorgeous? Got cat kits as cat kits as well. Um, it was these taller pages, but I think I'd got some slimmer ones. These, this is it. This is the ones that I wanted. I told you it was going to be a little bit eclectic, didn't I? Okay, let's move that out of the way. So what I'm thinking is one of these ladies to go on here. They might be too, have the backgrounds maybe too dark. I'm going to cut them out quickly. I don't think I want that lady. I quite like this lady. Covered my knife again. A few people still ask me what this ruler is um, and it's a quilting ruler and I find it much easier. I, I have got a guillotine, you know, a paper trimmer thing. I don't get on with it. I find it. I think it must be me because I've seen other people use it and they cut perfectly fine. Mine cuts fine. It's it's not that it doesn't cut. It does cut. But what it doesn't do it doesn't cut where I want it to so I end up with a bit of white showing or it's gone wonky or you know so for me I like my quilting ruler and I guess it's just what you get used to um, I've used a quilting ruler for a long time obviously because I quilt um, so for me it was stick with what you know girl <laughs> don't try and don't try and push yourself too far. So what I'm thinking is one of these ladies might look nice. See, she blends in a little bit. I do like that look on her face. She stands out a little bit better. I could do her as a belly band, actually, and then so I'd stitch her top and bottom. I do like this lady with the haughty look on her face, I have to say. What would she be like if, excuse my squeaky chair, it is just my squeaky chair, honest. 
What would she be like if I put some paper behind her? This is... <coughs> that might look quite nice, actually. Right, let's just have a little think. Let's have a little think. I like this lady better because I love the look on her face. So I'm going to see if I can make it work using her. So I'm going to glue her onto the music paper. And I hope I'm in focus. I'm gluing her on the music paper. So I will get this journal finished. Um, it just may not be with you, if you see what I mean. I think I want to try and get some of the music. On it. It's probably not straight. I'm channeling my inner Rachel and not getting it very straight. No offence, Rachel. <laughs> but I know what it can be like. Now, trying to think, this is quite delicate paper, so I might end up backing the music paper. That would probably be the easiest because I think that if I try and fold this music paper under to strengthen it, I think it's just going to crack and snap. But let's have a look and see if we like it before we worry too much about that stage of the game. Oops, so really I'm just, I'm just playing. It's all I'm doing is playing with papers. And if I don't like it, well, yes, I will have wasted some vintage music paper. But Oh, there we are. You see, she stands out on that now, doesn't she? So she can either be a side tuck or she can be a belly band. I have got a belly band, so I think she's going to be a side tuck. So I'm going to be stitching her on there. I am going to back that. I am going to back it. I'm just looking for some paper that I can back it on. Oh, this chair, honestly, I'm not kidding. So I'm just going to back it. That's what I'm going to do. Where did my blue book go? Oh, stuck it there. Because I don't want this paper cracking um, and breaking. It's got a lovely colour to it. I've looked for um, music pages. Um, there's a shop in a, uh, in a town near to me um, that does secondhand books and they sell um, music books. But the pages, every book that I look at, the pages are white. And I don't want white pages because they just look too stark in a journal. And yes, I suppose I could um, tea dye them. But sometimes old paper doesn't tea dye very well. And then it's just another job that I've got to do, isn't it? Am I on screen at all? Try and snuggle up to you a little bit. So, yeah, it um, tea dyeing and again, tea dyeing through the winter. Oh, that's never good, is it? I don't um, oven bake my papers because I've found previously that if I oven bake, the paper goes brittle. Um and it takes ages and you've got to have your cooker on and it's just an egg. Ec <laughs> oh, dearie me. It's just an extra faff, isn't it? So in the summer, I try and tea dye myself enough pages to last me through the winter. So I don't want to be tea dyeing extra papers. I need to do a tag for there, don't I? So this, what I'm thinking is Miss Lady... Can go on there and I think that looks nice and that will then flip up and that is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stitch down there and I'll be straight back. Honest. Okay so all I've done is stitch down that edge there um, only because that's where things are going to go in and out so I don't want um, I don't want it to come up. So I'm going to put that on there do I want to use the other side? I 
think I do actually. I think I do. I think I want to use that side. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch this onto this fabric. And just to make sure it doesn't go too far whilst I'm stitching, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. Only because, you know, it's going to, it, otherwise it's just going to move around all the time, isn't it? I'm going to put it about just there. So I'm going to do it as a side tuck. So I'm going to stitch this onto this fabric going one, two, three sides. OK, so I'll be straight back. OK, I'm back. Um, if you trust your glue, a lot of people say that they haven't got a sewing machine. Um, if you trust the glue that you use, you don't have to sew. And I do trust the glue that I use, but I like to sew. Um, but it's just one of those things that you either do or you don't do. It's not necessary. You don't have to do it. Um, so I'm going to put that on there and I'm going to stitch it across the top so that it's a flip. And again, I don't need to glue it because it's only little, but you could, if you thought it was going to wiggle and move, then, you know, you could glue it on. But the tip that I would give when I'm stitching fabric is I always sew from the paper side. So I'm going to stitch across here, which means there's going to be little zigzag stitches there. But I don't I don't mind that. Um, I just feel it adds to the texture of it. I think I might add a little bit of glue, actually, because I don't want it to be wonky, do I? We don't want it being wonky donkey. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there just to keep it in place. When you sit Sitch. When you stitch on paper, the needle pushes the paper through to the other side. So if I was to stitch on this side where the fabric is, it would push the little bits of paper here and it would look bumpy. But if I sew from this side, then it stitches into the fabric and you don't get that effect. So that's what I'm going to do. So one minute. OK, so I've done that. So I've just stitched it on across the top there, zigzagged it. Um, I may put something, I think what I'm going to do is put a strip of something across here um, to cover that and maybe have it as a, a tuck spot or a decoration. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to look through the papers and see if I can find something that I want. Um, or I might leave it. I am just undecided at the moment. But that then is a flip. It's not too heavy, but by putting the paper on it, it does give it that little bit of weight. Um, so that just flips up. I mean, it's not like you're going to pull it and tug it hard, is it? But you can still write underneath there and it has a little tuck spot there. So that's another journaling card that I need to make. So that's two, isn't it? One there and one there. OK, what else could we do? That's going to need something on the back there. Um, I'm just having a thought. I'm, I'm having an idea. I might use one of those other ladies on there, actually, as a side tuck. She looks rather nice on there, doesn't she? I like that. So I might leave, leave her there to go back to her and make her into a little top spot, a little side top, and then you can still write on this. Just put that on there to remind me. I'm just looking at this and I'm thinking, I am thinking, what I'm thinking is whether I could make, if I put, I've had this on the top of the, that tray for a little while. There you are, look, Chris Lana Crafts. I'll put that in the thing below. Um, I'm just kind of thinking. I've had this laying around for a little while and I do like this lady. So what I'm kind of thinking is I could put it on here, attach it to this page to extend this page out, but it could be a, a tuck from this side. Is what I'm thinking. OK. OK, that's what I'm thinking. Can you can you hear the top the cogs whirring? It's 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 it's. 
now let's cut, just cut the white off so I can just kind of think a little bit about how it would work. Um, obviously I need to put something on the back of it that's going to show here because it's white and we don't want it to be white, do we? So if that was to go on the back, it could come out, it doesn't have to come out all the way, so it could come out to about there, which means it would be on there. I would need to cover that because obviously I don't want it to say um, that in the journal. So let's see if I can find something to cover that up because that's distracting me a little bit. Let's put those ladies back in my box. Here we go. Found something already, look. Oops, there's merchandise. That would do, wouldn't it? You always save your little bits and scraps, don't you? You never know when you're going to need them. So I'm thinking that I could put that across there. Yep, I'm going to. I'm going to do that. I was just looking for my glue and it was right there under my nose. It hadn't gone anywhere. Okay, let's 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 put that across across there. Sorry, am I going off screen? I'm I'm having to sit at my table these days, hence my squeaky chair, because I do struggle um, with my back if I stand for too long. So it's it's me getting used to being at a different um, different height, if you know what I mean. I'm just going to cut a little bit off there because I can see a black line. It could be my eyes. <laughs> How tall is that? How tall do I need this to be? I don't know. I'm going to take this page out. It's so much easier then, isn't it? It just needs a little fraction taking off. Not a lot. Not a lot. Let's take a little bit. You can always take off a bit more, can't you? But it's always difficult to add things back on. Yeah, that'll do nicely. That'll do fine. So if I was going to put that on like that, I need to cover this side of it. OK. I've got some of the plain papers. These are from the, the um, autumn backgrounds. And it's something that's got to look nice on there, hasn't it? That one. That's the one. So let me take that white edge off first. Is this making sense to anybody? Um, I hope it is. Oops. And then I'm going to glue that on there where the wording is, aren't I? This bit's not too gluey. So I guess... I'm kind of Christmased out. Um, I have done a few Christmas journals. I did say that I've got a couple that I've got the papers cut. Um, but I'm going to kind of do them as an ode to Christmas in the new year, I think. Which is why I'm thinking I'm going to be so ready for next Christmas because I'm already going to have two in the bag <laughs> ready and done. I might do a couple of um, videos um, doing those. Um, one of them is um, Rachel Roxy Creations um, latest kit in the normal size, not the tall one. I've just done a tall one using Rachel's kit. I didn't take the white off the top and bottom, did I know? Um, and the other one is Andrea um, Artie Mays, her steampunk one. And I've cut the steampunk one out and I've put some papers together. Um, so I've got I've got the pages put together, but I kind of then hit a block on 
what to put with it and what to use. And I've decided, I've taken the decision that if something, if, if I can't think what to do with a journal, I don't want to be pressured to feel that I've got to do something because, you know, um, maybe because somebody's waiting for one of my journals or um, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't want to feel that I've got to carry on and with something if I've hit kind of a block on it. Now, I've, I keep going back to it and I've added a few more bits to it. Um, and I think for me, the hardest part for me is doing the first pocket tuck, whichever. Once I've made a start, I'm off. There's no stopping me. But taking that first step, because I always doubt myself. Um, I know people have said that they find that hard to believe, but I always, always doubt myself when I am starting a journal. Um, I'm, if I say quite an insecure person, um, I always struggle with lots of different things. So I, I do find it quite difficult. Oh God, that is so pretty. I am absolutely chuffed with that. I hope you can see it. Too high, too low. Which way do I go? Um, so, yeah, I do struggle with things. And I guess a lot of people do. I'm, I know that I'm not on my own. So I'm just putting this in here because I just need to know roughly where. I don't want it to come all the way to this one. I don't want it to be a bit less. I quite like to see that writing. Yeah, so I'm quite an, an insecure type person. Um, so doing videos for me is quite difficult. I am going to. I am going to. I want to glue this. I'm not going to stitch there because otherwise that lady's going to have stitching down her face. And I don't want that. So what I'm going to do. So I'm trying to think, folks, is I'm going to put it about there. So I am going to add glue. Looks like I'm gluing it to the book page behind, doesn't it? Well done, Carol. It won't matter, it'll be fine. And then a little bit of glue at the edges just to hold it again, just to hold it in place. And I might end up, um, because that's a, a bumpy bit, I might well end up putting something on there. And I think that I want to just trim that bottom bit a little bit. I am quite pernickety about things being level. Silly, I know. I know. But you can't help being what you are, can you? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch. I'm not going to stitch down there because it will. Yeah, she'll have the stitching straight down her face and I don't want that. I don't think I'm going to stitch it at all. I'm telling you, porky pies. I am going to glue it. I'm going to glue it on. There. And sorry if I've gone off screen again, I just can't see what I'm doing and I want to make sure I get it down good. I got it down so good, the glue came spurting out. There we go. Oh, filthy fingers now. So that. Oh, I do like that. The reason I was going to stitch was because I wanted to stitch down this bit. Just because I've glued two pieces together and I don't want them to come unstuck. I don't think they're going to. Make sure I'm not. Sorry, am I, have I disappeared again? Cut those two there. Let's just put it in and have a look at what it looks like. So, I really like that. So that is a pocket. It's not ever so deep. You can see where it comes to. So I don't want to put anything really big and bulky in there. 
because I don't want her to have a crease on her face. Will that work? I think it will. So what could I put in there that's not going to be too big and bulky? Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just going to put some tea dyed paper in um, that it's really got a nice pattern on this because what I do, I also do like to um, give people that have the journals an opportunity, must be no more than about seven and a half, to decorate it themselves, if that makes kind of sense. Too big still too big let's cut it down a bit more so this um it i mean obviously it's a nice writing space because it's nice tea dyed paper and i don't know if it picks up but it's got like little flowers on it where i've tea dyed it but then that doesn't give her a crease on her face so yes i like that i want it still to be a little bit thinner thinner narrower not as tall not as tall, that's the word. And I'm going to take a little bit off the edge. Come here, book. Because I think that's just a nice little writing space. Oh, I like that. I could do with a, um, a tab on that, I think. blend in too much oh I quite like the contrast of the blue she's got a little bit of blue down there so I might well use I am I'm going to use the side that's blue that's a decision made isn't it and then that can be a nice little writing space or if somebody wanted to add an image to it they could do but I think that is what I'm going to do and I'm happy with that sorry I've gone quiet because I'm gluing gluing I'm just hoping that's not going to stick out beyond it shouldn't should it I don't want it to stick out too far, otherwise it'll get... And that's just a nice little piece of paper. Oh, yes. Yes, happy with that. What do you think? Do you like that? I like that. That's just a nice little writing space there. I could put a notch in that, but I don't think it really needs it. And then here... I don't know. I don't think I need to put anything down there. Yes, it is a little bit... You know, there is a ridge. The only thing I'm thinking would be to put a little pocket here. I'm going to make a little pocket just so that I can see if I like it or not. It's not going to be very big. I'd only want it to be, I don't want it to cover that lady, about an inch and three quarters. If it was an inch and three quarters. I don't know if I need to fold those in. I'm just kind of playing at the minute. I'm just, I don't know if this is going to work. I don't really know what I want to do, to be quite honest. That's got a little bit of that paper stuck on it from when I, I glued it to the front. So let's, let's trim that bit off. I could have just folded that bit over, couldn't I? So 
So what I'm thinking is that could be a little pocket just there. Which I do quite like. So far, so good. That would go on there like that. And she's peeking out of that pocket. I do like that. So I just want to... I need a scoreboard. I'm, I was going to try and fold it myself. Just reaching the scoreboard, folks. I was going to... Oops! Oh dear, the bone fold has folded off. But if I try and do it myself, you know it's just going to end up a mess. So I'm going to just turn a little bit on that front edge. There. Okay. Let's just take those notches out. How am I doing for time? Oh gosh. Right, this will be the last thing I do with you today. You'll be, you'll be ready to go. Right, let's get those folded. Folded and glued. I'm going to have to get the hubby to oil this seat, aren't I? <laughs> I don't know if it'll fold. It's a folding chair and it's just creaking. Never mind. Such is life. Right, that's going to go like that. Let's take this page out. And then that can glue on there like that. And that just then covers up that, um, that rough bit. I think that I want a little notch in there. Oh, that was risky, wasn't it? And then it's just going to have something little in this pocket. Don't know what yet. I haven't got that far. Make a bit of glue down the back of it. It's not, not a very deep pocket. I just need to see that crease. Make sure I'm not putting it on the crease. No, I've missed the crease. There we go. So I didn't know that was going to have a pocket just there, but I quite like that that lady's peeking out of it. And then that's just a little pocket on there. Leave it to dry, Carol. Leave it to dry. Okay. So shall we have a, just a little quick look at what we did? I don't know what sort of paper this is. I think it's some sort of handmade paper. I'm not sure, but it doesn't half wiggle around. So what did we do? We did the corner pocket. So I need to do a card, journal card for that. We did that fabric flip. So I need a card to go in there. And then I was going to put that lady on there to be a side tuck. So I'll, I'll get that done as well. And then here we've got that pocket that we put there and we extended that and put that on the back there. So I'm happy with where I am with this. I hope you like it. Um, I'll put the details of um, the Chrislana Crafts down below and I will catch you all next time. Take care, folks. Bye.